So you might hear pretty frequently in media that somebody has a gene for a particular disease or a cancer gene or something, but it's not really a gene they have, or rather they've had that gene all the time. But we haven't introduced a new gene, but what has happened is usually that you've had one or a few of these SNPs, single nucleotide polymorphisms. So a single nucleotide has changed. One such example is actually two genes, which says which is called BRCA, the BRCA1 or 2. And they're, they're both fascinating and scary. It was one of the first obvious genetic cancers we found. If you have that gene variant, it means that you have a virtual certainty of developing breast cancer. And it's also going to be a very aggressive breast cancer that will likely make you die in your 40s or so. And you usually find out because there's a horrible family tradition of all the women dying very young. And that in today, if you have that tradition in the family, you're usually recommended by a genetic counselor to take these tests today. The only question is, what do you do if they come back positive? Well, in the particular case of BRCA, there is a very easy but though fairly invasive solution. You do a mastectomy. So you completely remove both breasts and depending on your age and everything, you might also do hysterectomy, uh, so remove the womb. Uh, but the reason I want to say this, there's been a lot of publicity to this lately. I think that this is Paige Moore, who was 20, uh, 24 at the time, and she wrote blogs and published this basically to make the public more aware of it in general. And in particular, if you have these hereditary patterns in the family, you should take the tests. Angelina Jolie also underwent a double mastectomy. And the good part of this is that if you treat it this way, you reduce the risk of cancer probably by 90 to 95%. So scary as it is, it's an example of a disease that we have not cured, but we can at least indirectly treat it with preventive care because we know you have the gene.